morning, everyone. How are y'all doing? I'm here today to talk to you guys about what I do to have nice looking skin. Um, I've been getting so many compliments lately and boy, do I appreciate those for sure on my skin and people asking me, how do I do it? So I wanted to share with you guys that the very first thing I do, of course, I use a good face cleaner. Um, I'm actually in the, on the look for a new liquid face cleaner. Um, as we speak, cause I'm almost out and they don't make it anymore. So I'm getting to the panic stage, but let's not talk about that. So the, the first thing I do after washing my face and I do use a contact sponge. It is amazing. They're only five bucks. You guys asked me about them cause they make all the difference. They gently exfoliate your skin and they make a huge difference. I either use that or I use my Norwex face cloth, which is also amazing. I have a friend that does that if you're interested. All right. So the face cream is the very most important thing I do. And then before I put my makeup on, I put on the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. So those are the two steps that I've already done so far um, that I truly, truly believe keeps my face nice and soft and a little bit wrinkle free. I mean, I, I'm 54 years old. We can't have it all now, can we? I wish we could, but we can't. I'm not going to look young forever. I, you know, I don't know. It's a thing. So the next thing I'm using, um, I have a friend that sells this Mary Kay. I'm not sure hundred percent how much I love it, but I do like it. So it is what I've been using. Um, but I may be in the new, a new market for that one. I'm not quite sure, um, what I'm going to do yet about that. If I'm going to stick with it or if I'm going to go to something else. And I don't even remember what brand this is. Oh, it's also Elf. Okay. So, um, the Elf seem to be really good products. And you can just get those at your local Walmart or wherever. Wherever they sell products. It's not low end, but it's not high end. And it is good stuff, but I don't think it's clean. And I try, try to stick to clean products, although that's not always possible. Um, and I, you know, I mean, you have to buy them. So, I mean, next time I need something, I'll, I might try something else, but right now this is working for my purpose. Although, uh, most everything else I'm going to be putting on is going to be a clean product. Okay. So there we go. Should I go out just like this? I don't think so. I think I should, but I don't think I will. <laughs> All right. You guys, I got a haircut the other day. I know that y'all just see me when I wake up right now. It is crazy. It's literally sticking straight up on my head, but I'm not having to put on a headband every day because it's in my way or in my face. So I'm very happy with that. So next up, I'm using the pharmacy BB cream. This stuff is amazing. I'm probably using the wrong color. I should probably be switched to a different color for the winter since I'm literally getting zero sunshine. Um, and that's not because it's not sunny right now. It hasn't been, but it's not because it's not sunny. It's right right now. It's because I don't like the cold. <laughs> so I kind of pat that in and then I kind of rub it in. Someone said I shouldn't do that, but you know what? Here's what I think about beauty. I think if it makes you happy and it works well for you, who cares what anyone else says? So don't come at me. Just don't come at me because it doesn't matter. I do appreciate feedback. I absolutely do. But if you come at me saying stuff like, oh, uh, you did that wrong. You did this, you know, say, hey, you know what? Maybe you should try this. That works way better for me because I really am 54 years old and I really don't care. Like if you say I do it wrong, if I feel like it looks good, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so, and I hope, especially if you're younger and you're watching me, I mean, I hope for everyone, but if you're younger and you're watching me, seriously, now is the time to stop caring what everyone says because life is about living your purpose 
people who care about what you're doing, are they the ones paying your bills? Probably not. So unless they're paying your bills and, and giving you direction on which way to go, I think the answer is no. And if they're paying your bills and keeping you from doing anything, then also the answer is no. We won't go into that right now. Anyways, anywho, not trying to be on a soapbox here about that. I really am not. I always wipe my fingers in between every product. In case you guys don't know that, I always have a cloth down here or a paper towel or something that I'm wiping with. So, I always do. So, just so you know. All right. Let's start off with some highlighter balm. And that's because I'm going to put some right down here, right on um, above my cheek um, my jawline. And I watched someone do this somewhere one day and I was like, hmm. And now I think I like it a lot. So I do it every day. Now I'm putting on my bronzer bomb, by the way, these are clean products from color street and I love them as much as I love my nails. Those need a good cuticle treatment. I put some matte coat on this one because I wanted to see what it looked like matte. I could turn it back shiny, but I'm kind of digging it, so I'm, le I'm leaving it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so up next is my bronzer balm, and I might have just put too much on. But we shall see. See, I'll rub it in just a little circular motion there. My dad ran across my videos and told me to be careful because it it looks like I'm flipping people off. I don't mean to. I just use my middle finger when I put my makeup on. <laughs> so, sorry about that. I hope it's not offensive to anyone because it's just the way I do. And I'm definitely not flipping anyone off. I thought it was funny when he called me and told me that, though. He was like, Melody, it looks like you're flipping people off in your videos. I was like, first of all, Dad, how'd you run across my videos? <laughs> and second... I don't mean to be. He's like, you got to fix that. Those screenshots. And I don't know how to fix it. So, it just looks that way, I suppose. So, okay. Remember, we're trusting the process here. Trust in the process. Let's try Let's try some of this, uh, this eyebrow stuff. I'm not good at the eyebrow show. Someone send me a video that shows me how to do this better because it would be very helpful. And I don't want to draw them on and I don't want them bigger. And I know people say, and listen, I've had the messed up brows ever since, like ever since I can remember. So, um, to me, it's just me and I can't even imagine trying to make them bigger, but it is what it is. So. And I'm not good at it. I simply am not good at it. So I'd love your feedback and I'd love for you to share with me things that you use. Now I'm going to use the blush balm from Color Street. You guys, this is called Go Getter and it is amazing. You can layer it on and build that color up. I don't need a lot of color usually, so I don't normally layer it on. But you, if you want buildable color, this balm is amazing. So are our powders. I'll have to come on one day and just use the powders. Because I don't think I've used the powders um, ever since I put the first first time I put the bombs on. Because the bombs are the bomb. I mean, I love them. So I don't think I've even put a powder on. Except for maybe once demoing it in my group. Flawlessly Festive VIPs. Y'all come join me. Um, so maybe I should come in. Maybe I should put it on one day. But I'm kind of, I'm just obsessed with these balms. They go on like butter. And gosh, I've been using these for months and months, y'all. And I mean, I do not wear makeup every day. So if you wear makeup more frequently than I do, I wear it maybe three or four times a week. Um, sometimes more, usually not less, unless I'm sick. All right, so there we go. That's what we got going on there. 
Now I'm going to use my eyebrow pencil or my eyebrow brush because see, I don't like the way that looks. So I'm just going to brush it just a little bit. Because I think it looks better when I brush it just a little bit after I apply it. So it's not so. So see, doesn't that one look better than that one? I don't know. You guys tell me. Send me some videos. Tell me what I should be watching so I can learn more about these eyebrows. Because y'all, I just don't know. I really don't know. And again, I appreciate your feedback so very much. Um, but tell me how bad it looks or, or whatever is not going to make it easier for me actually being, um, you know, sending me the right videos or giving me advice instead of criticism. You know what? That's what's wrong with the world today. If you ask me, everything is criticism and nothing can be done in a advice sort of way. You change your attitude like that. People change your, their attitude to you. I promise you. I know I will. <laughs> Sorry, I've been on this little soapbox. I mean, I really don't care what people say about me, but I do want people to know that um, when you criticize someone like that, it is it can it hurts feelings. Why not be positive? You know, constructive criticism is a, a million times better than just criticism. And if you just want to criticize, you know. There's a lot of other channels that you can go do that on. Don't do it on mine, please. All right. I'm feeling my oats today, aren't I? <laughs> oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, my gosh. How did I not get this out? Where is it? Oh, no. Where is it? Well, I'm going to use the pink one because I don't know where. I guess I'm going to use that pink on the inside today because I don't know where uh, I put what I normally use here. That's all right. I got a pink shirt on, so we'll just pop in a little pink here. Do a little blend. Pop in a little pink here. That's not my favorite, but it'll work. I don't know what happened to mine. I don't see it. Did I pull it out? Apparently, I did not pull it out. All right, well, Okay, so let's see. We need some mascara, a little eyeliner, and we should be good to go. I'm going to do my lipstick in a different video because I need to go show my ladies in my group Flawlessly Festive VIPs this new lip oil I got because it's incredible. All right, where did that go? Mascara. Now, I just sharpened an eyeliner, like literally. I went out and got a sharpener, you guys, because y'all remember I accidentally threw it away. What I... Oh, gosh. I literally just sharpened a, a liner. Oh, it fell. Okay. So, we're going to go with silver today. I almost always just wear green. So I thought, let's step out of the box today. Let's see how this silver looks. I mean, it should match my hair, right? <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, I don't know where the lid for that is. I'll find that in a minute. And let's put on my Color Street Mascara. Remember to never pump your mascara. Don't go back and forth like that. It will cause you all kinds of problems. You don't want the air to get in there and dry out sooner. I 
All right, you guys. I'll be back with the lipstick video, but look at that eyeshadow or mascara. Let's separate that right there. Look at that. I love it. All right. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll be back to talk to y'all. Oh, shoot fire. I forgot my powder. I gotta put it all together. You gotta trust the process, but you gotta finish the process, or I'll go looking like a crazy person with that down my nose. So we're gonna set everything with my pharmacy powder. Usually do that before I put my mascara on. And then I'm going to definitely rub that in real good. Alright. And that's how I do it every single day. Close to every single day. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I mess up and just do it however, like, whatever whim hits me. So, <laughs> that is life. All right, you guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you. Come to Flawlessly Festive VIPs on Facebook.